Okay. Oh, uh, uh, welcome back to Pokemon Platinum, everyone. Sorry it took so long. Bloody hell, that was loud. Um. Uh, yeah. Sorry for take. Sorry for taking so long to get back to this. All right. It's the B button. Um. Uh, being perfectly frank, um. Uh, shenanigans. Um. Uh, in the last session, however, my um. Uh, print plop evolved into Napoleon. I am. Um, uh, I didn't show that on stream. Instead, I am. Um, uh, spliced it in with um. Uh, another. Sorry. I mean, instead. Of, instead of. Uh, la, la. Um, I spliced that in. I've, I'm into a, uh, sorry. I'm into the previous session, which is that's something I'm going to be doing for my Rhyhorn as well. Because our next stop is um, uh, oh, what's the name of the town again? Hang on, I'll, I'll check out in a minute. It's called a uh, uh, Canalave City. That's our next destination. Let's see. Uh, yeah, who's got the experience share? Uh, so far, no one. Okay, I'm gonna give it to him. Uh, chat. Uh, sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give it to Chatot. Uh, just because I'm, uh, the following areas, um, uh, Chatot's going to be at a severe disadvantage. Cut Rock Smash. Okay, I should be fine there. I don't think I have strength yet. I don't think I'll be getting that until... Um, uh... I think, it's I think it's after this one, actually. I I'm after this, Jim. Oh, done that thing again. Hang on. There we go. Alright. Frankly, um, Cantilever is not that far. In fact, I'm... Uh... Uh, hang on. Anything over here? Yep. A wild Pokemon battle. Alright, uh, Tentacle. 27. Damn it, Empoleon's got one hell of a screech to him. Ooh, rare candy, perfect. Alright. Uh, let's see. Um, I think I'm actually going to give it to Lucky Lucky. Oh, just because um, uh, Lucky Lucky's also going to have a bit of a disadvantage here, since it's mostly steel and rock types. Me first. What does that do again? The user tries to cut ahead of the foe and steals to use the foe's intended move with greater power. Also, it's like mirror move. Uh, you know, I'll get rid of knockoff. Alright. Let's get back on track now. Of course. I think I have a crap ton of repels as well. But, like, this is such a small area that there's not really much point. See? We're done. Alright, so there's a couple trainers here. I'm, uh, I'm gonna save those for later. Uh, just because I want to get a move on. Thomas, long time no see. Oh, you look puzzled. You're wondering who I am? I'm Professor Rowan's assistant, and Dawn's father. 
The professor asked that I upgrade your Pokedex, you see. So I chose this watch on a hunch that you had passed through. May I have your Pokedex for a moment? Let's see, was I supposed to put in the soft... Was I supposed to put in the software here? All done. I've upgraded your Pokedex. I should explain how it's been upgraded, shouldn't I? It can now display images of male and female Pokemon. Okay, I'll leave you to carry on with your project for the Professor. Let's ask that you keep an eye on Team Galactic. The Professor is concerned about what happens in Jubilife City. It's probably nothing to worry about. I'll be on, I'll be on my way now. Yeah, because an up um uh, um because an upgrade to see whether or not your Pokemon you've seen it on both male and female. Well, I suppose if you're breeding, I suppose it's that. But you'll also see the gender um a symbol next to them. Hey, welcome to Canal Life. Uh, th uh, this has the move deleter. I believe it's this house right here. So if I have any moves I don't want, I can just come here. This one I don't remember. All right, I'm actually I'm a go to go to the Pokédé. Sorry. Go here and come out, just so I have it recorded, so I can fly here later. So, so I think that's how it's supposed to work. Harbor in the text is too faded to read. Now this it is actually part of a special event uh, to get the legendary Pokémon Darkrai. Uh, I can't remember if I mentioned this, but I am planning on um, uh, catching every legendary Pokémon in this game. Um, I. What I'm going to do is, um, uh, for the event only ones, that I'm either going to use a cheat cartridge to unlock the items. Or, there are actually glitches that allow me to enter their areas, which I might exploit. I haven't decided yet. Whoops. Hey, Thomas. You're going to challenge the gym lead, uh, a past here, eh? So I'll just check to see if you're ready for this challenge. That's someone as me with my brand new gym badge. Alright, time for a fight against Barry. Right, it's been a while since I've done this. Let's see if I still remember how to do this. Well, of course I do. It's Pokemon, but... Alright, start off with a Staraptor. So we're roughly the same level each. Okay. Aqua Jet, Return, Surf, and Peck. Let's go for... Surf. Oh, great. You're doing this. Alright. I see how it is. No, it's still here anyway, that's good. Nice, so much damage. Alright, fish off of an Aqua Jet. Nice, a crit. Unnecessary, but still. Alright, Heracross. Bug and fighting type, so Chatot. Now I think I think Heracross's worst stat is his special defense. And Chat is a special attack, so let's see. Didn't, that was a crit as well, quad weak crit. Even if um, uh, his special defense wasn't his best, that still would have he still wouldn't have stood a chance there. Nice. Uproar. Uh, pass. I don't. I don't like uproar. Rapidash. Fire type. Let's bring in Rhyhorn. Rayhorn's slow as balls, but um, uh, he's still got a, he's still got a decent type advantage. All right, let's set up a stealth rocks first. Surprised Rapidash actually still has tail whip, but oh well. I guess to be fair, even the um, I mean, even the smallest stat reductions can be fatal. But that's all he's doing, so who knows. Oh, come on, don't start. Oh, right, he couldn't. Oh, boy, Torterra. Yeah, good fight in there, Rhyhorn. All right, uh... He's likely going to use an... He's likely, he's likely going to use a ground-type attack. Or a grass type, so... 
yeah, I made the smart choice. All right, let's do a fly. All right, how much damage? Ooh, not bad. Nice, keep it up. This tiny parrot is kicking so much ass. I love it. Alright, it's back to Rapidash again. Alright, so because Rhyhorn keeps missing, I'm just going to go straight to Empoleon instead. He may be part steel, which is weak to fire, but I'm a, being part water is still better. Perfect. Float soul. Oh, that's right. I got him an excess of Felician. It's still really dumb that Lefion doesn't learn a um uh, a good physical attack and grass type move until seventy in this game. Still, I am glad that, that it gets fixed in future games. Alright, and finish off with a quick attack. Perfect. Alright, I should probably take that experience shirt. I should probably take that experience shirt off Chatot. Yeah, yeah, you're just a bit better than me, as usual. But listen up. Let me tell you who's going to take on the Pokemon League and become the champion. You guessed right. It's going to be me. Yeah, you should... Did you go to Iron Island to toughen up some more? Yeah, train at Iron Island. That's what I did before going to the gym. Alright, I'm going to heal and I'm... Uh... I think I'm actually going to deposit... Oh wait, no, I might still need Rock Smash. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm still going to need Rock Smash. If there's one... If there's one major complaint... Um, uh, um, I have with Pokemon Platinum is that it uses way too many HMs. Too many mandatory HMs. Save real quick. Uh, I will admit, though, it is good to be back to be back at this game. I j my my main problem is that I'm pretty sure I've said this plenty of times before, but I'm, uh, my main problem is just the timing of it. Since I'm, uh, I was playing Persona Free as well, and just juggling this along with it, it's been kind of a pain, honestly. Then again, at the same time, if, if I'd have just kept playing Persona after Persona after Persona, I feel like I would have gotten insanely bored of it, because I don't like sticking to one game for so long. Oh, nice. Star piece. Alright, so what's in this house? Nothing. Can I... Nope, okay. You are... Oh, <laughs> okay, you're Thomas. I'm Riley. I'm a trainer, and yes, it is a bit odd that I'd be training here. Anyway, it's always nice to, to meet another trainer. Here's a gift. 
Hit you with four. I think that's I think that's strength. You need to continue to hit the move strength, yep. Well, you need the mind badge from Canalave Gym. I'll be training inside. You can join me if you like. Before I do, I'm actually going to... I'm going to do this before I forget. Because he's leveled up a bit too much now. For now. But to be fair, I'm past the point where I don't need to worry about um, uh, over-leveling with um, uh, Chatot to make him disobey me. Yeah, I, I'm honestly well past that point because I'm a... Uh, the recommended level for the final boss is like 60. And I'm uh, I think I'm already... I, I think I'm at the 50 mark and the next badge will make it up to 60. So, you know, I'll be fine. Alright, I'm going to be ignoring wild battles for now. Like, I'm only going to be focusing on them... Uh, I'm only going to be focusing on trainer battles for the time being. I will participate in wild battles later. Anyone who's played this game before will know why. But I'll keep it a secret for the time being. Now, where am I? Am uh... There's the max. I went past the max repel. Where's the. Here we go. Super repel. Yeah, I knew I had these. Yeah, let's camp. So what? Let's battle. This feels like an odd place to camp, but whatever. You do you. Hmm. Hey, Palm. Alright, let's do another surf. Huh, for some reason I thought double hit was a fighting type move. Oh well. Works for me anyway. Since Barry's float so wasn't that big of a problem for um, um for Leafion. Let, let's see let's see how this one fares. Alright, quick attack. And done. Let's get that item. I'm hoping it is what I think it is, but I doubt it. Oh no, this is it. Sweet. Okay, perfect. Uh, that is the item to evolve Rhydon into Rhyperia. So at the end of the session, um, uh, I'll post a little bonus video to um, uh, show to show Rhydon evolving. See. Ah. Escape rope just in case. Max repel, always appreciated. Personally, I think it is just better to buy the regular Super Repel since they're cheaper and are just as much as a Max Repel. But, you know, to each their own. Okay.
Oh, Raichu. Okay, don't think right don't think your opponent's gonna do well here, so let's swap over to Raihorn real quick. Uh, I wish you had a ground type move. Alright, try Rock Blast again. Uh, Alright, Stomp. Of course. That's why I want to use Rock Blast. Alright, try again. Oh, come on. Alright, uh, Paralyze Heal. Right, if he gets static again, uh, she, if she gets static again instantly, I'm going to be well annoyed. Alright, good critical hits. Alright. Alright, let's get, let's get back to the action. Yeah, that's not painful on the ears or anything. Okay, Riley's here, so that means that's the way to go. Which means this way should be a bonus thing. Alright. Elixir, always appreciated. Let's see what this guy has. Magnemite. Alright. The problem is that until Rhyhorn evolves, he's kind of hopeless. So, while this is against my better judgement, I think going with Apollyon to try and one-shot it, like that, is the, is the better alternative. Oh, damn it! Well, I'm going to take a, a bad hit. Or not. Go. Alright, uh, who should I switch out now? Who's. Alright, switch Leafy on over since he's level 36. Alright, there's another work here. Ooh, Iron Tail. Actually. Huh. Just trying to think here.
if I give it to Leafeon, that will benefit um, uh, his physical attack buff and give him um, and give him an advantage against um, uh, rock types. Because right now, his only advantage against rock types is Magical Leaf. And because of his abysmal special attack, he's not going to take as much advantage of that unless, it, unless they're caught with the grass. If I give um, uh, Iron Tail to Rhyhorn, however... Um, uh, that'll give him an edge against rock types, which um, uh, he's he's going to be struggling with. Hmm. You know, I'll hold off on it for a moment. All right, I'll fight that worker in a minute. I think somewhere around here is an item. Star piece. Nice. Alright, let's see what this guy has to offer. Ah. That's a thing. Let's see how much. I doubt this is going to do much. Yeah. Empoleon, get your butt out here. Alright, this should take out in one hit. Gold it. <laughs> Triple seven is like a it's like I've won at the slots or something. All right, so that's everything there, I believe. Honestly, the most important thing to me is the protector. Thomas, I'm glad to see you here. If you don't mind, let's team up. The Pokemon seems to be restless. If Pokemon gets hurt, I'll heal him up. Alright, let me just take a look at my team real quick. Okay, so they're a bit banged up. Alright, so um, there's a double battler here. So let's just show this off real quick. Oh, right, yeah. We've done this already before. I'm, uh... I mean, with that woman in the, um, uh, uh, I'm in the forest. Yeah, basically, I'm um, uh, any time I'm in a battle, Riley will heal it, and will heal my team members after battle. Okay. I'm gonna use X Scissor on Medicham since he's part psychic. All right, so the fighting resists bug. Okay. Oh, nice, an attack boost. Nasty plot increases special... special attack, okay. Alright. Oh, really? Okay, thanks. I hate it when that happens when there's just a there's just a pixel left. All right, so he's raising a special attack again. Does, does Toxicroak have any decent special attacks? Or special attacking moves? So I don't think he does. All right, let's use. Quick attack, because I don't think Exes is gonna do much. Since I think poison resists bug as well. Alright, so with that attack buff. Nice. Well, he's screwed.
Well, Toxicroak has a weird cry. Yeah, um, much like with the go in the forest, every time you exit a battle, you gain, you get a full heal. That's when, that's why I'm a, yeah, I'm not gonna replenish it because now I actually want to get into wild battles, and I botched up the double battle thing. Uh, okay, admittedly, I I couldn't see him until at the last moment. To be fair, it says you're ready for running, but still. Alright, just one more will do. Or not. Oh, no, never mind. That, that's no longer escape. Second half, I thought that was the one that stops moves. Onyx. Quad weak to grass, so Magical Leaf should do a fair amount of damage. Can't guarantee it'll finish it off. But let's see. Nice, it did. Alright. Alright, that Steelix is what's going to cause problems, so... I'm going to switch over to Empoleon to do a Surf on it. That's taken care of. Alright, let's just do this fight real quick and then find some more battles to train up. Alright, so Sturdy's not a thing yet. Well, it is, but not in the way it is in nowadays. So I should be able to one-shot this thing. Yeah. Yeah, in Gen 4, Sturdy um, uh, doesn't save you from a one-hit KO. What it does is that it saves you from uh, moves like Explosion. Switch over to Empoleon. Yeah, this should be easy. A little annoyed that didn't finish it off, but you know, Aqua Jet's not really that strong anyway. Switch back over to Empoleon for a bit. Alright. A Gravel and an Onyx. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, because I heal and every wild battle is a double battle. I'd honestly like just rather do wild battles then. Because I'll be much easier to do and I'll be getting more experience as well. So this surf should take them both out. And I, and I don't need to worry about damaging um, uh, Riley's Lucario that much because he'll auto heal after the battle as well. Alright. Uh, 
switch over to Licky Licky, I suppose. Ooh, a Dusk Ball. Alright, Gravel and Onyx again. This one's not going to be as easy this time. Do rollouts. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, so now Honest is going to get a speed boost. Wasn't expecting that. Still, that might help actually, because Licky Licky's not weak to ground. Lucario is, however. Nice. Alright, that's that taken care of. Okay, that's a little easier. I can I, I can have Licky Licky focus on Golbat. Oh, nice. Well, this is going to be even easier than I expected. Nice. I had to open my mouth. Come on, don't hit yourself. Good. Nice, a critical. Magnet, that boosts the power of electric type moves. So it's not bad, it's just not great either. It's good if I it's good if I had an electric type Pokemon with me. I could use it for um, uh, Licky Licky's um, uh, Shockwave, but that'd be kind of... Don't think that would really be the best idea. Alright, how much damage? Looks like exactly half. Ah, crap. I don't know if Sandstorms um, decrease the power of electric type moves. A part of me thinks they would, because the whole formula of ground beats electric. Come on, please don't hit yourself. Good. Alright. 
So, what's this? Knight and a Graveler, okay. No, yeah, screw it. Let's go for Hyper Beam. Nice to crit. I know Hyper Beam's not going to do much, but they also... I don't think they have good special defense either. So this might not be that bad. Oh, nice. Oh. Oh boy. Well, at least it didn't KO Licky Licky. Nice. Alright. I'm going to give the experience share to Rhyhorn now. Uh, let's go for Empoleon. Just because Empoleon's really going to be my best bet for the um, uh, Steel Gem. Alright. A Geodude and Magnemite. Okay. Please tell me. Oh, wait, no. Surf hits everyone anyway. I was just realizing I'm going to KO Lucario if I keep using Surf, so. Machoke and Machop. Alright, so. Okay, Machop's almost down. How's Pet gonna do? Not that great. And Lucario's down. So which means... I'm now stuck with... Um, this is stuck to being a one on two now. On the plus side, that means I don't need to hold back anymore. Okay, Geodude and Graveler. All right, one down, two down. Here's another item. Let's see what it is. Max potion, not bad. And that's on the graveler. Okay. Same thing as before. One circle to the trick.
Nice. Alright. So if we move this away and run into another wild battle. That's a Steelix. Anyway, that's gonna be a fair that's gonna be a fair amount of experience. Alright, how much damage is that gonna do to the gold bat? I don't think it's gonna finish it off since it's not weak to water. No. More than half though, but it finished off that Celex no problem. Alright, yeah, part fighting, weak to flying. I can't be too annoyed by this because A, I chose to do this, and B, this is still experience I'm gaining. And because I heal after every fight, that means I don't have to go back to the Pokemon Center for a while. Nine, nice. Whirlpool. Uh, pass. More battles. ARE YOU SERIOUS?! ARE YOU AB- uh? <laughs> You've got to be kidding me! Okay, okay. Alright, 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 alright. <laughs> Think 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 I gotta take out Riley's Lucario. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, maybe I don't need to take out... Maybe I don't need to take out the Lucario. Okay, okay, calm down, calm down. I am, like, legit freaking out right here. Okay, uh... Just trying to think of what to do. Okay, okay. We're in a cave. We are in a cave. Duskball should do quite... Duskball, Duskball should be really good. But it's also at full health and perfectly healthy. That's what I was afraid of. No, 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 don't you dare kill him. Don't you dare kill him. Oh, 
I was hoping for the paralysis. Okay, Ultra Ball. No, 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 Why did it have to be in this situation right now? Please catch! No, 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 come on! Riley, fuck you. You piece of shit. I really hate you. I can't believe that happened. I legit can't believe I found a shiny Pokemon on stream. And Riley fucking killed it. Oh. I'm like, I'm, I'm like proper salty now. I'm like, uh. Here's the thing, I would have been a lot angrier. I would have been a lot more upset if that was my very first shiny. Thankfully, that was my fourth. My first shiny was in 2012 when I was playing Pokemon Sapphire and I got myself a Cacnea. I still have it to this day. It's, it's in Pokemon Home. Uh, my second one was a Macago in Ultra Moon. Uh, I was just messing about in Ultra Space, and I just happened to stumble across it, so I used my Master Ball. So both those were accidents. The third one is a Pump Kabo that I deliberately hunted for in Pokemon Shield. Uh, when I got the Shiny Charm, I decided to hunt for a Shiny Pump Kabo. And it only took about 91 encounters in less than an hour, which is very impressive, all things considered. So, yeah. I, I, I guess, to be fair, I don't think there would have been much point in me catching that Steelix anyway. Because I wouldn't have been able to use it on my team. But I could have, I could have traded it over to another game and used it, or just brought it with me and poke, or just took it to Pokemon Home. Oh, that was so painful. That was extremely painful. Oh. 
Right, I, I just realised I'm uh, haven't been swapping up my Pokemon. <sighs> to be fair, still kind of in shock that happened. Alright, so I fought those two. Can't remember if there's an item there or a hidden or there was a hidden item. Oh. <laughs> Still, at least I found a highlight for today's session. And I've been kind of bothered that I haven't been able to find as many decent highlights, but then again, I'm kind of a boring chap, so... I'm so, I am, like, still upset over that. I still... Uh, like, I guess just to explain, this is before the, um, uh... This is before an, um, uh... Um, uh, the shiny reduction. So, um, uh, just to explain, like... In order to catch a shiny Pokemon, well, in order to find one, at least, it's a 1 in 8,192. In Gen 6 and onwards, it was reduced to 4,000. So, like, it's still ridiculously hard to find a shiny. But it's deemed even more impressive if you're able to find one in a game before it had the, before it had the easy patch. I, I still can't believe I found a shiny Pokemon. I'm just going to say it right now. Because, look, if, if I'm going to be honest with you, in the back of my head I was saying, God, do I hope I don't find a shiny Pokemon here where my partner has a chance of killing it. I'm like so salty. And no, I'm I'm I don't think I'm gonna be able to get over that. There it is. Iron plate. Free beings are born to bind time and space. Yeah, um, I've been collecting the plates. I can't remember if I explained this or not, but the plates are part of Arceus, the god Pokemon. Um, uh, th the plates boost a specific type. I'm um, based on what they are, but if you give them to Arceus, um, it changes his type. So Arceus is the first, actually the second legendary normal, because Regigigas is first. But you can change our cases type to whatever you fancy. Assuming you can get one legit. Sorry, I'm... I'm not getting over that. I refuse to get over that. Now I keep running into wild Pokemon like a madman, like... Oh. It had to be one that was hard to catch. I should have just switched over to... A... Nah, none of these team members would have been able to um, uh, take out R Lucario. Ugh. I should have saved the Dusk Ball for when he, when he was in the red. But then again, like, Steelix still has an insanely 
low catch rate, so like it's very hard to catch a, a wild Steelix. I think I'm, uh, when I go back to Pokemon Shield, I'm gonna go shiny hunting for <laughs> um for a, um for an Onyx. Uh, let's do quick attack. Red Shard, okay. I don't think I'm going to be using the Tutor and stuff, but... Might as well collect them when I can. Oh! Unique Pokemon! Not just rock types. Okay, well, I'm, uh... Okay, should be able to one-shot that Quagsire since it's quad weak to grass. Perfect, one shot. And Lucario should be able to one-shot Lopini with, um, uh, a Force Palm. Oh, that's gonna do some damage. Yeah, that did some damage. Still one shot crit as well. Not really sure if the crit was necessary. Oh well. All right, so we got a Storaptor and a Medicham. I'm going to switch over to Chatot. Oh nice, the Paralysis. And the car is down. Well, looks like I'm on my own. That's going to suck. I kept going and crashed. Alright, finish off that Metachem. And hopefully the Paralysis kicks in for Staraptor so he doesn't attack me. Yeah, that's, that's what I was afraid of. Earlier. I'm going to try and finish off that Staraptor. Nice. Okay, Curly is probably going to take down Chatots. Yeah, no way he's surviving a psychic attack. Let's go for Licky Licky. Hippopotas. Alright, that's going to cause some problems. Alright, let's try me, me first. 
We can use takedown. Okay. Oh, with a stab bonus. That's not going to be half bad. Yeah, brilliant. That was actually really good. Alright, I'm going to take buffering and so is Curlier. Got to take the risk, because I don't really have any good moves for Hippopotas, besides Hyper Beam, but I'd rather not make myself... Okay, that's probably not going to do much. Nah. But that's damage over time. Oh boy, calm mind. Alright, so since that's damage over time... Nice, it missed. Uh, that means it probably would be a good idea for me to finish off Curlier. Since Hippotas is going to get beaten by the by the Sand Tomb. Oh, come on. I'm going to take a bit more buffering. Do Shockwave. Since that doesn't miss. Alright, that's probably going to take down Licky Licky. Mm, yeah. Damn it. Uh, and I wanted to have... I wanted Licky Licky to get the... Exp Alright, the Santu must have wore off. Alright, so Leafeon. Now I'm actually going to use the first turn to revive Licky Licky so he can get that experience because he needs it. Alright. Leafeon should be fine with that. Yeah. Alright, we're both going to take Buffering. Alright, x -Scissor. Okay. Another wild Pokemon battle. Alright, what is it? Every time I see a Steelix now, I think it's going to be golden. It's going to annoy the hell out of me. Alright, switch over to Lucky Lucky to try and get more experience. He's, he's at a disadvantage, honestly. Fortunately, but with Lucario, it shouldn't be too bad. <sighs> Alright, memory serves me. This shouldn't do that much damage to Licky Licky since he's quite durable. No, oh, never mind. So at least that's Graveler out. I, I wish Lucario used Force Palm on, on the Steelix. But, you know, can't really trust an ally AI. Nice.
Nice, just one level. Alright. Alright, and as always, we've got Team Galactic goons to deal with. I get it. You're responsible for agitating the Pokemon. I don't care what good reason you may have, but I don't want you bringing any trouble into the mine. We're Team Galactic. We take all the Pokemon we want. Isn't that right, partner? You said it, brother. So that's what we're going to do. We're abducting all the Pokemon from this rusted out iron island. To share in all joys and all sorrows. This is how all the trainers and Pokemon live in Sinnoh. I don't want anyone to defy that code of ethics. Come on, Thomas. This is this one battle we can't lose. This is also one battle we won't lose because if there's an, if there's one thing I learned about Team Galactic, is that they're not really that tough. Unless we're talking about the admins. All right, Shockwave on Zubat, and Force Palm on Glamia. Perfect. Bats and a crow gunk. Okay. Alright, well, I'll use. Actually, let's use rollouts. Just so I can get the multiplier. Lucky, lucky, you're one durable mo motherfucker. <laughs> can't believe I said that, really. Do you know what else I can't believe? That Riley killed a fucking shiny. <sighs> oh, for goodness sake. It's always me, it's never Lucario. Third one, Stunky. Jeez, look at look, he's taking a beating. Right, taking a bit of a risk here, but let's try Hyper Beam on Houndow. Houndow's the bigger threat. Or not. Never mind. Alright, let's use Hyper Beam on Stunky, because Stunky's the bigger threat. Never mind, I guess we're not using Hyper Beam at all. Remember, so me, Stunky's only weakness is ground. Oh, come on, you poor bastard. Alright, that's both Galactic Grunts beaten. They did not attack Lucario once. Stop, I said stop. Your combination is so sick. The both of you and your Pokemon. Let's beat it, partner. 
You said it, brother. You don't even know what Team Galactic's big plan is anyway. Thanks, you've really helped me out. Listen, I have a Pokemon egg here. Should you take it with you? Thank you. You don't have enough room to take another Pokemon. Alright, I'll wait here for you. Alright, just for the... Second, I thought that was shiny. Just for the records, I'm not going back. I'm, I'm not going back to pick up that egg. Uh, that egg is a Riolu egg. Um, uh, if I was gonna have Lucario on my team, then I would have picked it up. But since I'm not, um, I'm not gonna bother. It's. But that's just to let you know what kind of egg it is. And to be fair, I think that's the only way you can get a uh, Briolo in the game. Alright, a Shiny Stone. I believe that's to evolve Togetic into Togekiss. And Metal Coat. That's to evolve Onyx into Steelix. But guess what? I would have had a damn Steelix if Riley hadn't have killed it. Also, this spot here, I might as well say this. Um, uh, this is where you can fight Regirock. No, Registeel. There's three Regilocations of rock, ice, and steel. If you get the event Regigigas, you can act, you can initiate battle with those and try to catch them. Or if you just... Actually, I think if you just have Regigigas on your team, that they'll pop up anyway. But it's the, it's the kicker. If you have the three Reggie rocks, you can unlock Regigigas. And that's kind of the weird thing. Like, in order to unlock the Reggie Trio, you need Regigigas. But in order to unlock Regigigas, you need the Reggie Trio. I know you need a specific Regigigas that they just give away. But still, it's funny to think that. Oh. I still can't believe it. A shiny Pokemon. Like, I am still immensely salty on that. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, either way. Uh, we're not at the... Ha we're not at the one and a half hour mark yet. But I'm gonna go and take a break anyway. Since we're pretty close to it anyway. Alright, I'll see you in a minute.
Okay, I'm back. And god damn, am I still salty. Alright, let's head to the gym now. We we've gained a significant amount of levels, so... Shouldn't be too bad. Um, I'm going to keep the experience share on Reinhardt because he's literally one level away from evolving. Alright. So, this is, a, this is a steel gym, so expect a lot of steel, fighting, and rock. So, honestly, Empoleon's probably going to be getting the main brunt of it, since he's the only one that's really good enough for it. It's actually... I'm going to have Licky Licky out first anyway, because I want Empoleon to um, uh, be saved for the gym battle itself, not the small fry. Every time I see a Steelix now, I'm just going to feel annoyed. Ah, oh, crap. Of course. Nice half. Alright. Don't know if that's proper half, but I'll use another... Actually, hang on. Now I can use some, uh... Oh, screw you. Still enough to take it out, even if it wasn't very effective. Okay, so we've got these elevators here. And this guy here. Alright, Magnemite. Okay. Oh, almost a one-hit wonder. Ah, crap. I know Shockwave won't do much, but I'm not wasting another Hyper Beam for that much, for that little health. The Shockwave will finish off regardless. Okay, all right. Who's next to be leveled up? Uh, Chatot. Shouldn't have that hard of a time. All right, so... That puts me here. Okay, that's back. That's wrong. That's another worker and a dead end, so... Yeah, I'm checking out all of these because I want to get into as many battles as I can. Well, I don't think... You know, steel does resist flying. And so does electric.
So Churchill's going to be at a major disadvantage for this, but shouldn't be that bad. Keyword shouldn't. Especially if it keeps using a steel type attack and not an electric type. Alright, let's do return. Perfect. Alright, another Magnemite. Oh, yeah, I'll just stick to using return. Because that, that's obviously doing more damage than my own flying type attacks. Especially since I'm pretty sure my chatot's at max some uh, happiness now anyway. Alright, are you gonna use an are you gonna use an electric type attack? I shouldn't have asked. Endure it. Oh sweet. Of course. Alright, swap out. Really? I guess it didn't do that much, but still. Oh, really? Come on. Thank you. <sighs> that was annoying. All right, uh, paralyze heal. Hyper potions. There we go. All right, so this is the right one. Right, since it's an ace trainer, it might not actually have any steel or electric types. Well, it's right on the electric part, not the steel part. Seriously? Swap out. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, oh, fuck you. Just want Fryhorn to le to level up one more time. Oh, 
All right, wrong way. All right, since there's a trainer there, that's most likely the right way. Yep. Return. Okay, I know Chatter can, can endure at least two sparks. Fine, make a goddamn liar out of me. This this session is just kicking me in the teeth. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, the game's like, this is for, oh, this is for taking so long to play me again. Switch over to Empoleon and let's get this over with. Don't think one surf's going to hurt that much anyway. There we go, finally. Oh wait, was it 42? Oh, well I feel like an idiot. Hopefully this guy has just fighting types so Chatot can do well. Again, I could have had a golden Steelix. Switch over to Empoleon again. I wanted to save him for the for the gym, but <sighs> uh, it's no surprise at this point. I've got a pretty shitty team. That's what I get for like actually trying to use Pokemon I've never used before. I think from now on I'm just gonna go half and half. Keep battling. All right, let's get let's keep this going. Will this be any good for Chatot? Uh, maybe it's a bronze or Oh right, I need to wait for a uh, either way, that's not gonna do anything if I am uh, just try to mirror move it. This is 
I get it. I, I should be swapping out to Pokemon that have type advantages. When I'm actually trying to train up these Pokemon... Alright, how much damage? Not much. I keep forgetting how good of a tank Licky Licky is. Yeah, I think next time I stream a Pokemon game, I'm gonna go for free Pokemon I've never used before and free Pokemon I have used before, just to make the, um, uh, I'm just to make them uh, getting around to be a bit easier. And maybe have a bit more of a balanced team. Oh, come on. Hit him. Thank you. Oh, come on, don't do this again. team is shit against steel types. So I've literally got one member good against them. Alright, I should resist this in some part of steel. Yeah, that was like five damage. For goodness sake. They use confusion a lot in this game, and I don't like it. Alright, come on. Oh, for goodness sake, just hit him. Thank you, jeez. Please tell me that was the last trainer before the before the gym leader. Yep, perfect. All right. I wanted to keep my Empoleon safe until the gym leader, but no, I just had to get a lot of them. Um, uh, but uh, I just had to get. I just had to go through a lot of shit for this, so. I'm going back to Pokemon Center and I'm going to heal. Because this is exactly what I wanted to avoid. And now I can't. Still, at least we get the nighttime Pokemon Center theme. I love this song. 
This is what I wish future Pokemon games kept. Let's get back to that gym. I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm I'm still like angry over that over that shiny Steelix thing. I know I should get over it at this point. But it's like you know how rare a shiny Pokemon is. Like they're one of the biggest bragging rights to Pokemon fans. Next to Pokerus. And they're definitely one of the biggest highlights for any Pokemon streamer when they come across a shiny Pokemon by complete fucking accident. Alright. His first Pokemon... I believe it's a Bronzong. Uh, you'll see my reasoning for that in a minute. Ah, that's Orbex. That's Orbex gym badge. I see. I see. You defeated my son, but that's no surprise. He still has much to learn. In place of my son, Rourke, I, Byron, will take your challenge. Now, this guy was an absolute ham in the anime. <laughs> like, an absolute whack job. Alright. Oh, it's a Magneton. Alright, you know what? That's actually a little better. Alright, I'm gonna start with a Stealth Rock. Oh, boy. Hopefully that won't take it out. Come on, come on, stop, stop, stop! Oh, fuck! I'm trying that again. Yeah, that was... Yeah, that... Um, that was... That was extremely unnecessary. Sorry. Sorry about that. Yeah, that that was literally just me being a whiny bitch there. <sighs> Sorry about that. So that That's honestly the thing I hate the most about myself is that when things don't go my way, I tend Especially in games, I... Yeah. To be honest, not really surprised I'm not really that popular of a streamer if I've got this kind of attitude. To explain, I was going to use Stealth Rocks to, like, chip away at them since I knew I had a team that wasn't really good against Steel types, but... No. Still, since I know that his first Pokemon is actually a Magneton... Okay, well, I know for a fact I can't bring Empoleon out right off the bat, because if that Magneton gets a good hit on Empoleon, I'm finished. I could have sworn he had a Bronze on, but I think I might be thinking of Diamond and Pearl. Alright. Let's start off with a me first. Nice, taking advantage of Licky Licky's special attack as well. Alright, how much damage? 
Ooh, quite a bit. Alright, I'll do... Actually, this should be enough for to do to do a hyper beam now. Oh, damn it. No, no choice. I have to use a healing item. Oh, I don't have a full restore? No, I guess I, guess I wouldn't. I'm too early in the game for them. I thought I might have picked one up along the way, but I guess not. Alright, just need to get this hyper beam off. Come on, please don't screw me over. What did I just... I think I would have rather have taken the process. At least then I wouldn't have lost PP for that. Alright, please don't miss this time. Get the stoop. Ah, oh, I didn't heal. Of course it doesn't do that much. I guess if I steal does resist grass. Ah! Oh! After all that... Okay, there's no way he's going to use a Thunderbolt on Leafeon. That'd be a bad idea. Oh, come on, please endure this. Thank you. All that struggle against his first Pokemon, I'm not even at his strongest yet. No, wait, no. Okay, this one should be the easiest since he's weak to water. And then there's this. Please one shots. Thank you. Alright, Bastion is ace. But Barrel's gonna be sacrifice play. Now I believe he's a he's either a rock and steel or a ground and or a ground and steel.
one of the two. I don't remember which one. Also, yeah, I didn't. I didn't need Rock Smash when I was on Iron Iron Island. Iron Island, anyway. So, yeah, I could have got that Riolu egg. Alright, that's a citrus berry. Alright, I'll resist this. Oh, that... That was a super annoying fight. You were strong enough to take down my prize team of Pokemon. Recognition of that power, I give you this. The Mind Badge. Alright, so I should be able to use Strength outside of battle now. Yeah. Six Gym Badges, that means all Pokemon to level 70 will obey you without question. TM91, That I think that's Flash Cannon. Yep. Uh, like. So in addition to having a team that was all bad against Steel, I was having some really shitty luck as well. Uh, hey, that's the Mind Badge. Good going. You're tough enough to consider becoming the Pokemon Champ. Of course, I'm tougher, so it's not going to actually happen. Hey, Thomas, come with me to the library. I will later, as soon as I've healed. Okay. Let me just do a little bit of thinking here. If I give Leafeon the Iron Tail TM, it'll be another decent physical attack, especially against Ice-type Pokemon, which... Um, uh, Leafeon has a distinct disadvantage against. However, we're not we're not going to be dealing with with ice types. W well, we are going to be dealing with ice types soon, just not many of them. And Rhyhorn is severely lacking in a lot of offensive capabilities, so. Yeah, I'm giving this to him, uh, Rhyhorn. He needs it more. She needs it more. Does the genders matter? The only problem with Iron Tail is its piss poor accuracy. Well, I'm gonna get rid of Scary Face. I don't use it. Let's see. Next up is Flash Cannon. Uh, Empoleon is able to learn it. And what about Strength? Because I'm going to need Strength. Okay, but Barrel can learn it, so that's good. Leafeon can actually learn it as well. That would actually be a, a decent um, physical attacking move for Leafeon. Uh, let's get rid of... As much as I like the, um, uh... As much as I like the speed of Quick Attack, it's just not helping anymore. At least as much. The strength will be much better. Alright, let me check out Empoleon's stats real quick and see if, see if Flash Cannon is worth putting on. 
Oh, yeah, definitely. His, his special attack is 20 points higher. Yeah, flash cannon on um, uh, Empoleon, then. Okay. Let's get rid of Peck. Peck's kind of pathetic anyway. Anything else? Uh, Steelwing wouldn't be bad, but Chattel's more of a special attacker, isn't he? Uh, well, not that, not that much higher. Chat to return mirror move and fly. Now, get, getting Steelwing wouldn't be super, wouldn't be super helpful because you get, Chat gains the same type of attack bonus from all four of these moves. Like, I guess I could get rid of Mirror Move, since that one's more luck of the draw, but Mirror Move has saved my ass in several other Pokemon games. So, I'd rather not um, uh, drop it, because it's been super useful to me in previous games. Chatter is a really good is a really good special attacking flying type move, and Fly's just a really good physical attacking flying type move, so... Well... What else can learn Steelwing? I think Empoleon can. Yeah. Alright, what else? Uh, toxic. I love me a good poison user, so... Hmm... I'm going to hold off on that for just a moment. Alright. Save my game. This has definitely been a pretty bad session for me. Like, this has just taken forever and a lot of things. Like, admittedly, yeah, I shouldn't have built this team the way I have. My challenge was to try, was to have every Pokemon here be ones I've never used before. And unfortunately, I didn't really consider the, I didn't really consider um, uh, like the consequences. So, I've got, so, so far, my weakest member has been Rhyhorn because he's taken he's taken so long to evolve, but he's only one level away from evolving. So, eventually, he will pick up the pace, especially now that I've got the Protector for Rhyperia. Leafeon has been slacking off severely because he just doesn't get any decent moves. It's like, Leaf Blade is the best move for Leafeon to have, but it, it learns it at 70. You would have done this game and post-game before you get that. So, like, that was definitely on me for getting a Leafeon, and it if I'm being perfectly honest, if I'd have gotten my hands on that Steelix, I might have just taken the risk and replaced Leafeon with it. Like, granted, I would have had two Pokemon that share weaknesses, like Rhyhorn and such, but... No, that, that would have been a bad choice. I, I guess, to be fair, I, I could have taken it over to another Pokemon game. I'm still, like, super angry... Um, that Riley killed it. I, I was more angry, than, but yeah. Again, like this is just this entire session is just proof that when it comes to steel types, I'm terrible at fighting them because I don't have any solid strat. I don't have anything solid against them. I've only been able to bank on Empoleon for taking care of them. That's because the steel types have, have been part ground or rock. Anyway, sorry for that rant. Yeah, fuck you, I'm too slow. I, I've had a bad day. <laughs> it's 
still, at least I can um, uh, smile a bit about the um, uh, shiny things. Now, now that I've got, now I've got a um, uh, decent highlights. It's almost over here, this way. And it's Dawn Professor Rowan. Okay, Gramps, I brought Thomas, like I said. Alright, I'll be out of here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I get it. Hm. Everyone's here, finally. Thomas, everyone, listen. You may have forgotten already, but I studied the evolution of Pokemon. But the more I study, the more mysteries appear and multiply. Pokemon that evolve and those that don't. What makes them different from each other? Do those that are immature as living beings evolve in into ones more mature? If so, what do we make of the legendary Pokemon that don't evolve? Are we to assume that the legendary Pokemon are completely... Are complete as creatures. This is where you three come in. In the free lakes of Sinnoh, there are said to be Mirage Pokemon. If we can obtain data on them, it may shed some light on how the process of Pokemon evolution works. I need help from each of you on this grand undertaking. Help me find these Pokemon that are considered to be Mirages. What are you saying? I didn't get a Pokedex. And who was it at Bolter from the lab before I had the chance to give you a Pokedex? But that's water under the bridge. Seeing these Pokemon with your own eyes is important for you in becoming a better trainer too. You can count on me. I'll hope my Pokedex too. Thomas, you'll go too, won't you? Hmm. I would have made all of you go regardless. Anyway, now that the free lake, now there are free lakes. Fortuitously, there are three of you. You should therefore split up and investigate the lakes individually. Dawn, you go to Lake Verity. Will do. Barry, I want you to investigate Lake Acuity. That would take you almost to Snowpoint City. The road there is harsh. I need a tough trainer to go. Uh, yeah, of course, Graham. You know how to call it. You can tell me I'm the heartless. And you know what? I, I was going to catch those legendary Pokemon for you. You know. That's thanks to giving us our Pokemon back on Route 201. Even though I forgot completely about it until just now. Yeah, smooth, smooth work there, Barry. Very well, I'm counting on you. And that leaves Thomas with Lake Valor. The lake is between Veilston and Pastoria, if memory serves. Has it stopped? Are all of you unharmed? What was that about? No, wait, I mean, TV, the TV, news, anything. What you've just witnessed is actual footage from the scene. It was taken by a cameraman who happened to be there. It's certainly impressive. Who knows what the explosion could expose at the lake. Gramps, they said it was an explosion. Hmm? But why at Lake Valor? Let's get outside. I'm concerned about the town. You kids be careful going down the stairs. Thomas, you should leave now too. Maybe aftershocks, however. Be alert always. And we're just going to run down the stairs like a loony because we're immune to plot. And um, uh, natural hazards. Yep, it's nice being the protagonist. That tremor, that wasn't a natural occurrence. Hey, hey, old dude and kids, did you hear? They're saying there was a huge explosion at Lake Valor. But I hear everything's fine now. I guess it was just a lot of noise. Gramps, I'm going. I have a bad feeling about this. That Barry, can't sit still. Thomas, I don't like to demand, but I need you at Lake Valor. It's impossible things to, for things to be okay. Not at an explosion like that. But I have no idea what is taking place. Before you go, let me stress. Don't get in over your head. We will try to join you as soon as we inspect Lake Verity. Thomas, you'll be okay no matter what, right? Yeah, no problem. 
All right. Lake Verity. That's this one, right? Valor. Oh, Verity. I picked the wrong town. I guess it would make sense that it would be Lake Verity. It's the closest to a um, uh, Canalave. Also, it's impressive that I'm able to fly around on a small parrot. Alright, let's get to Lake Verity. And here we are. Oh, wait, no, it, it was Lake, Lake Valor, wasn't it? I'm an idiot. It was Lake Valor. Sorry, I, I got Lake Valor and Verity mixed up. I'm a dunce. Forgot I've got a bike. We've got about an hour left, so we've got enough time to do quite a bit of plot here. Provided things go smoothly. Which they haven't been so far. But, you know. And the water is completely gone and there are galactic grunts here. So, you know, things are going well, right? Right... Haha, <laughs> next stop, Lake Verity. The closest civilization is that hick town called Twinleaf. We can run there completely unopposed. Yeah, thanks for telling me all that. Also, poor Magikarps. Magikarp is weakly flopping around. Would you like to join the Magikarp and flop around in the mud? Alright, it's time for the next major plot with Team Galactic. That bomb that was in a... Uh, Ah, uh, the Great Marsh. That was pretty much a test for this one. Alright, it's cat versus birds. Let's do a return. Nice, one hit wonder. Murkrow. Now it's bird versus birds. Another one hit wonder. This parrot is just too powerful. Overwhelming. Alright. It's a galactic grunt there. <laughs> Even Team Galactic has no use for magic up. Worthless, all of them. Yeah, wait till they evolve. I've actually used a Gyarados before. Um, uh, they were pretty good. We still have a Galactic Bomb. The Blast Horse is phenomenal. Um, yeah, I actually used a Gyarados in this game. Uh, since you can fish up a Magic Card before your first gym, um, uh, I went and did that. It was hard to raise, obviously. But it ended up being worth it. It wasn't one of my wasn't one of my favorites a uh, Pokemon to use. But I thought it was kind of neutral. It, 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 uh, uh, sorry, it was more like a double-edged sword. Like it was good, but it had a fair number of problems with it as well. So yeah. Same type of attack bonus, bitches. Not that it mattered.
Pokemon attacks with phenomenal power. Yeah, this Chetel's kind of badass. Here's one thing I will say, like, my team has been pulling its own weight. The problem is that it's, it's definitely got some big flaws. I'll punish you in place of our boss for defying Team Galactic. Alright, this is going to be easy. Okay, good. Alright, Stunky. How close is Raihorn to leveling up? He's 10 points. You know what? Screw it. Bring him out. Alright. Set up a Stealth Rocks first. Next, let's try out the new Iron Tail. Of course. What is Rhyhorn's ability? Lightning Rod. Okay. So I was gonna say, if it's if it's Hustle, my least favorite ability in the entire game because of because of how it makes your moves more inaccurate. All right. Thank you. All right, you stomp. Critical hit. All right, switch outs. Okay, let's do rollouts. All right, let's not. Thank you. All right, last one. Yeah, great. I think that's just lowest attack. Yeah, by quite a bit. Oh boy. Huh. All right, let's just finish it off, provided it doesn't miss. Good. About damn time. Congratulations, your Rhyhorn evolved into Rhydon. Finally. So then the move Hammer Arm. What does Hammer Arm do? I think that's recoil damage. Oh, it lowers, lowers speed. And it's a fighting type move. That's...
Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, so sadly I wasted that iron tail. But this is honestly the better move. It's more accurate. It can deal with all of Rhydon's issues. Alright, let's heal the team real quick. So we're, we've got a boss battle coming up. Oh, no, I need to get rid of that poison. Antidote. Alright, and, um, uh, Rhydon doesn't need the, um, uh, experience share anymore. Let's, who's gonna be... I'm gonna give it to Leafeon. Oh, whoops. Now, let's actually bring Rhydon out into the front row. Let's uh, um let's give her her first battle. Actually, before we do, I I've a I have been thinking about it and I've decided on it. I'm going to give Toxic to Licky Licky. And as much as I like rollout, it hasn't been that helpful to me. Toxic will be, though. Besides, it's not like he's going to devolve. What do you want? You're investigating the explosion? Bah, it doesn't matter who you are. It's too late to make any difference. Things are going to get really interesting now. All the legendary Pokemon are going to be brought to our HQ in Veilstone. Hey, thanks for telling me where your head, where your headquarters are. To be fair, I, pro I probably already knew that anyway. Well, of course I knew that already. I, I played the game, but you know. The mission's proceeding about Hitch. The boss should be pleased. Everything is for everyone and for the good of Team Galactic. I recognize your face. You're the child who raided the Team Galactic building. I mean, Eterna. Huh. Jupiter should be ashamed of herself being beaten by a child. But anything the name one that opposes Team Galactic must be crushed. Even the very thought of opposition will not be tolerated. Again, like, your biggest problem, besides being a pack of idiots, is underestimating the opponent. Literally the worst thing you can do in any situation is underestimate your opponent. I just got rid of the poison, thanks. Alright, whatever. Alright, please hit this time. Nice. Yeah, look at the power. All right, who's next? Bronze or Psychic and Steel type. Why is it? I'd have the advantage against Steel types if, if it wasn't part Psychic. Let's bring out Licky Licky. Oh, it's Bronze or not Bronzong. Oh well. Oh, right, of course, it's a steel type! How did I forget that? Alright, I better just unleash the big guns. 
That bronze or maybe one level above me, but it its special defense can't be that much higher. Uh, yeah, that now that's me underestimating the opponent, so yeah, go me. Pot calling kettle black on that one. Wait, why didn't me for? Oh, does me first not go automatically? That's that's dumb. Sheesh, if I don't know now, I would have gotten rid of um. Uh... I would have gotten rid of um, uh, me first for a um, uh, toxic. Sorry, I don't know if the move relearner is here. Toxic croak, poison fighting. Alright, here's Ace in the hole. Unfortunately, the, I'm this songbird's gonna sing him the song of his death. I don't know where that came from. It just popped into my head there. Nice, one hit wonder. Trickle hit too. You, my friend, are tough. I can see why you defy us so. God, even I, a commander, only managed to buy us time? But that's fine. A child like you will never be able to stem the flow of time. Team Galactic will get the free legendary Pokemon the lakes. With their power, we'll create an entirely new universe. By now, Mars should have captured the Pokemon of Lake Pharisee. Oh, right, poisoned. Pass asleep, Moose. I don't have any Petcha Berries? Alright. Still, not, not the best start for Rhyhorn's debut, but... Well, Rhydon. Oh. Anyway, he's probably going to be in reserve for a little bit, just so I can have the other Pokemon gain experience. Still, I'm, uh, Team Galactic got away with one of the Pokemon, so we better head to the next one. Lake Verity. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. I think it's I think it's for the best. I just end it off here, cause I'm uh we've got a huge story point coming. I'm coming up soon, and I'm just thinking it might be better if I try to do it all in in the next session. In addition, like because of because of what this session has done to me, I just need some rest. I, s I just can't believe it. A fucking shiny Pokemon. I mean, I wanted one to appear on stream because I was wondering like what my freakout reaction was gonna be. So I guess I'm, it's good to know that um, uh, it was a pretty damn good reaction, all things considered. But yeah, I, I'm gonna end off here a little early. 
just because like we've got some big plot points coming in and admittedly I'm also like actually getting a little bit frustrated. Like don't don't get me wrong, I like this game and most of these problems I'm having they're 100% my fault. I think next time I play a Pokemon game, which I'm uh, I haven't decided what that's going to be yet. Not that I'll be playing another Pokemon game anytime soon, but you know. But I'm a uh, yeah, I'm a uh, next time I'll I'll do half and half. Free Pokemon I've never used, free Pokemon I've always used. All right, anyway, I'm going to end it off here. Uh sorry, it's sorry this playthrough hasn't really been my best. I honestly don't have a good excuse. It's just like I think it's just like a collection of of like bad things from like stupid luck, um uh, poor choices. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Just bad luck and poor choices. Which, to be fair, since this is the hardest of the Pokemon games, in my opinion, probably should have prepped a bit better. Well, either way, I gotta get going now. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care, guys. Fuck you, Riley.